Minnesota Vikings and Atlanta Falcons NFL action. This one is for Sunday, and we've seen uh, just big news this week from this game, from this matchup. We know everything that's going on certainly here with the uh, Minnesota Vikings and their bummer here this season with you know losing their quarterback for uh, the remainder of the season. Uh, won't be like a you know people's a, you know the Achilles. Uh, injuries and whatnot, but you know one of the things is like with Aaron Rodgers, you know his injury isn't to his push off uh, leg, so that also is kind of helping him maybe to get back uh, earlier. While for Cousins, it is so. Anyways, the Falcons have moved to a big favorite here because of the move that the. Minnesota Vikings will have to move to uh, Jared Hall, Jared Hall to be the quarterback. And while they did acquire Dobbs this week, probably going to need a week of work with him, uh, you know, on that trade. But I does think that Dobbs would be the quarterback moving forward, acquiring him for uh, specifically that. Interestingly, they would, you know, go, yes, while Dobbs is gaining massive experience, and maybe there were other quarterbacks out there and available, but this is a move they've made, interestingly. But they'll have Hall this weekend for Atlanta. Uh, maybe the move is because betters are feeling more confident that Taylor Heineke will be in there this week at quarterback rather than Desmond Ritter. Uh, people have kind of soured on Ritter here a little bit. Remember, Ritter was winning all the games at home with Atlanta, and that became kind of his theme because he had never lost at home in college. Uh, not never, but, I mean, had an incredible record in college and uh, was also winning games at home with Atlanta. But now it, maybe they've caught up to him a little bit. and Atlanta certainly a little bit overrated maybe with some of those wins. Uh, here comes Ray. Here's on the Vikings and uh, Atlanta for Thomas. And uh, Mike says maybe it'll be a. Oh, he's got that's the other game, I think. Ferner on the Falcons here in this one. So, uh, so that's, you know, I think kind of what we're looking at. So Heineke, certainly, you know, even when he was with Washington, people said, hey, you know, we like it with Heineke in there. And we kind of liked Heineke in there as well. So it's just interesting that, you know, that Heineke's ended up here in this spot with, uh, with Atlanta. So we've only seen kind of more move to the over here as this news has kind of unfolded. In fact, it got hit again to the over yesterday. And it just seems I look, I know the Vikings have a rookie quarterback in here, um, but I kind of like these fast tracks a little bit. I, I don't necessarily like when they put these low, or I, I do like when they put these low totals on the indoor games a little bit. Uh, I get it. I mean, the Vikings, you know, certainly have, uh, you know, their work cut out for them with a Ricky quarterback this week against Atlanta. I mean, the spread has totally moved uh, in Atlanta's favor. And I don't know, I'd probably be more interested in trying to find my way back onto the underdog here uh, at this high number and think that they do have a, have a, a, a chance. I'm sure they're going to get overlooked big time and that might be, that might be enough to catch my, uh, to catch my eye. Tickets are running three to uh, three to two in favor of Atlanta right now. So, um, all right. Well, for me, I'm going to take the over. I I can't stand it. Um, I I get it. I mean, rookie quarterback here uh, for Minnesota. They are. If anything, it does feel a little bit unfortunate. Like they are a little bit up against. Uh, the time this week and whatnot. So maybe that will also help Atlanta in terms of uh, field position, getting the ball uh, where they can uh, capitalize on uh, Minnesota's shortcomings right now as they try to fix things here and what was really just a late-breaking situation, right? I mean, that happened very late in the game with Cousins, uh, you know, they knew going in, they knew that night they were done, but they had to act quickly 
and appropriately amazing they'd end up um you know i thought that maybe there were other some other bigger name quarterbacks out there that they uh, could make a move for but this is where they've ended up all right give me the i'll still take the over in this one